Look, I know this is tough to hear, but you and I are done. I'm sorry for leading you on and making you think there was a future for us. But the truth is, I never saw us getting married. <laughs> what? This doesn't make any sense. We just got engaged a few days ago. You were supposed to come meet my parents this week to discuss our marriage. What happened? Look, being engaged to you has been more of a hassle than anything else. I only went along with it because you kept pushing for it. I never intended for things to get this serious between us. Are you serious right now? You proposed to me. You said you wanted to get married. I thought you meant it. Yeah, I said those things. But I wasn't being genuine. I was just trying to make you happy at the moment. I didn't realize you would take it all so seriously. How can you play with my feelings like that? You made me believe we had a future together and now you're saying it was all a lie? I didn't think you would take it so seriously. I was just going with the flow to avoid conflict. You should be grateful. I was trying to keep the peace. Grateful? Are you kidding me? You've completely shattered my trust in you. I thought you loved me. Look, I think it's best if we end things now before they get any messier. I've been feeling suffocated in this relationship for a while now, and I can't handle it anymore. Suffocated? What are you talking about? What's the real reason you're breaking up with me? Look, I don't owe you any explanations. We're done, okay? No, we're not done until you tell me the truth. I know about your cheating, Arthur. You've been seeing someone else, haven't you? What? Where did you get that idea? Don't play dumb with me. I know about the other women you've been seeing. You proposed to me, and I thought it meant you were serious about us. But now I realize you were just using me. Fine. You want the truth? I've been seeing other women besides you. You're not the only one I've been with. And you had the nerve to propose to me while you're still seeing them? You're despicable, Arthur. Look, it's over between us. I don't want to drag this out any longer. I just have six other women. <laughs> six other women? I can't believe I ever trusted you. I'm sure you never noticed anything like that, right? <laughs> I made sure to do a very good job hiding all of them from one another, including you. But I've started to realize when there's one girl that starts to become a problem for me, it could bring down my whole scheme. So in order to avoid any of the others finding out about you or each other, I'm breaking up with you. I'm sorry, but you need to give up now. I am so shocked by all of this. What should I be saying right now? So. Arthur, you've been going out with seven girls in total, including me, this whole time? Well, I suppose I have been. And I think seven was one too many for me. So that's why I'm getting rid of you. <laughs> Just be happy. You got to live a short period of your time thinking that the feelings between you and I have been real. I feel so terrible right now about what you've told me. I can't bring myself to say anything else to you. I can't do this. Don't you ever talk to me again, okay? Oh, that sounds perfect to me. And the same thing goes for you as well. Don't you ever come around me again. You're an eyesore for me now. I was just starting to think I had become your fiancé. But all I've been to you is a part of your circle of women. I can't believe any of this. This is it. Then I hope you burn in hell for doing things like that. Hey, why are you here of all places? Emmy? I've been wondering the same thing about you, Arthur. I would never have thought that the man who had wrapped me into a seven-girl circle, like you'd done three years ago, would be showing up at a place like this. Have you been stalking me or something? Were you looking into me all over the internet in order to find me here? Why are you here right now? I told you, you are a complete eyesore to everyone. I'm not here for you, you jackass. This happens to be one of my friend's weddings. I want to know why you're showing up to her wedding when she's never had anything to do with you. The man your friend's marrying is my boss. And let me tell you something. You've gotten really, really fat since the last time I saw you. <laughs> ha 
Excuse me? Three years ago, you weren't all that bad looking. And I was even able to deal with you. But holy crap, you're a freaking fatty. Oh, are you having fun making fun of one of your exes like that? I don't remember you ever having the right to be saying things like that about me after what you did, but I guess you were always a complete jerk. So it's just part of your character to act like a child right now. I might be a bit of a jerk at times, but right now I'm only stating the facts about you. Fatty, did you get to that size from all the stress of a man of my nature leaving you? You're going to make me begin to feel responsible for your weight, if that's the case. I'm so very sorry for making you inflate like a gosh dang balloon. Stress, huh? I was stressed back when we had our first broken up, but that was around three years ago and now I have nothing to do with you. I know that, but I also know that the truth is you still have feelings for me, right? And that's why today you came here looking for me, wanting to get me to come back into your arms, right? Huh? I have no idea what you're wanting to say here, idiot. Do you even understand half of the crap that comes out of your mouth when talking to women? At this point, it seems you're completely in a world of your own and there is no point in trying to talk to you. Well, if you want to be upset with me like that, then keep it up. But I know the truth about you, Emmy. I don't think you do know the truth about me, actually. Sure, sure, sure. Anyway, come to the lobby to see me for a sec. Why should I have to go over there to see you? It's been years since you and I have seen one another. So we should at least get the formalities of introducing ourselves to one another out of the way. So come over here. I don't have anything to talk with you about. What was that? Well, then why are you at this wedding? I thought it was normal for people to talk to one another when they come to an event like this. And you're not wrong about that. But what do you want with me that requires me to come and see you? Oh, come on now. Just get your fat butt over here. <laughs> you know what, Arthur? I've had enough of your insults. Anyway, fine, but don't you dare get too close to me. You're so fat that it was like sinking my fist into a tub of dough. <laughs> Are you completely screwed in the head, Arthur? You just punched me for no dang reason. What the hell do you think you're doing? It hurts my eyes to have to look at such a fat and lonely witch like you in that dress. Get the hell out of here now! If someone here were to learn about a hippo like you having been my girlfriend at one point, I'd be screwed myself. Now, before someone catches on to us, get lost. You're not even going to feel bad for what you've done, you bastard! Dang it! My stomach hurts so bad. I'm not going to let you get away with that. I never saw something like this coming. Running into one of the women from that group of girls I messed around with back in the day at this wedding. When I called you over and got a good look at your fat buddy, I ended up punching you out of instinct. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you might have just done to the baby in my belly? What? You're going to freaking pay for what you've done here. What? Baby? Why did I have to run into you at a time like this? This is the worst. I didn't do anything to deserve this. I was just trying to come and see my friend's wedding today. But I can't believe this is all because of the crappy things you've done in the past. You bastard! Who cares that you had seven women you were sleeping with at a time? What you just did to me and my baby by punching us, it is screwed up on so many levels. That was so brainless of you that I'm going to make sure you answer for your carelessness. Wait a second, Emmy. I didn't mean to do any of that to you. And what's all of this about me punching your baby? Are you talking about your food baby after eating all that food at the buffet or something fatty? Is it that surprising to you that I'm pregnant right now? It's not surprising to me. It's impossible for you to be carrying a baby. You're single right now, right? Why the hell do you just assume that I'm single right now? Well, look, you never once told me anything about you having gotten married to someone in these past three years. Why the hell would I be telling some parentless monster like you about my life? and how I'd gotten married. Don't you feel stupid for even assuming that I'd do something like that for you? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Parentless monster? 
I have parents. And what makes you think that you can say things like that about the man you still love? What? What are you saying, Arthur? You are a freaking disgrace. I am married to the man I love right now and would never love someone else besides him, especially someone as disgusting as you. What? You're actually married? You have to be kidding me. That's why I've been going on about how I'm carrying my husband's and my baby right now. He and I had a baby together, and you're going to act like something like that is completely taboo of me. What the? What about all those feelings you had for me? Huh? <laughs> what feelings? But you've been my ex-girlfriend this whole time now, right? Actually, you're my ex-fiancé. So that makes things between us even more hot, right? Are you trying to tell me that while having those feelings for me, you got married to another man and never told me anything about it? We were only engaged for like a week, Arthur. And it's not like those feelings of love were mutual between us at the time. Anyway, I had assumed that you and I were engaged, but you never felt that same way. I was just one of the seven women you had been going out with at that time. You being a part of the seven and you being my fiancé are two different things. You are an absolute monster, Arthur. Whether it be the fact that you had seven girlfriends at one time that you never said anything about, or the fact that you proposed to me only to get me to shut up. You are trash, and I want you to remember yourself as that for the rest of the time. And you are going to, because there were people around us that just saw what happened. So, you are completely and utterly finished. You said that the groom of this wedding is your boss, right? What are you talking about? You just told me that a second ago, idiot. And the bride is one of my best friends. I thought you only said that she was a friend of yours. Right now, she is very worried about the health of me and my baby. So I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen to you later on. Wait, looking forward to what though? What's gonna happen to me? All I'm trying to say is that it's too late to ask for any forgiveness now, you idiot! Wait a second, please. Just come down. Can you come back here right now and talk to me? Where are you right now, anyway? I'm on my way to the dang hospital right now. The hospital? Where are you going there? Are you freaking brainless or something? You just punched me in the belly while I'm pregnant with a baby! That's almost due! Jesus, do you need to have me send someone to you to help you spell it out for yourself or something? No, I don't remember hitting you in the gut that hard though. You're just overreacting right now. I sure as hell am not overreacting when this involves the health of my child. We have been hurt by what you've done to us, so that punch was a punch for sure. Wait, Emmy, calm the hell down. I am going to make sure that you never get to act like a freak ever again. Whether that means you go to prison for assaulting me, or you go to a mental hospital so that the doctors can figure out what the hell is going on inside that skull. Either way, you're going to be rotting in hell after today. Hey, where the hell are you right now? It's all because of you. Things are going down the drain for me. I was not wanting to see a freaking call coming from you right now. What do you want from me, you bastard? Don't talk to me like that. I'm in a pinch right now. Your friend ended up seeing what went down between you and me and started telling everyone about it. And she did so while the spotlight was on her in the middle of the wedding. I'm pretty sure that the bride would speak up about something like that when it's her own wedding. And she never expected there to be violence. And not just violence, but violence against a woman and her baby that she's been carrying. Do you have any idea where I'm at right now? I don't give a crap about that. I want the police. I was taken into custody by them and had to go through an hour's worth of questioning. They said they're going to let me go for now. But because of that, you've gone and wasted a few hours of my life for nothing. Huh? So after having the police literally take you to their police station and question you on what you did, you're not going to feel an ounce of regret for me or anything? Instead, you're going to now resort to blaming me for your own inconvenience. Are you actually three years old, Arthur? It's because of you that the bride saw what happened today. And she's gone and told everyone at her wedding, turning them all against me. 
Now that I'm going back to the wedding, I can already tell that the air is going to be hard for me to breathe. Because everyone is going to think that there's some kind of a problem with me. My co-workers at the wedding had to watch as I was taken away by the police. So I'm sure that's not going to end up well for me. I feel totally embarrassed by what happened. And now I'll never be able to live this story down. This is all your freaking fault, Emmy. Hey, cut the BS right now. What was that? Because of you assaulting me today, my freaking water broke. What? What the hell does that mean? You don't have a clue what my water breaking means for me and my baby. Look it up on Google, you idiot. Thank God my baby came out okay from all of this, but was still born prematurely. I'm going to make sure your life is over for this. For assaulting both myself and the baby I was carrying. And remember that I'm not the only one pissed off with you right now, but so is my friend and her husband. I know that already. My boss is infuriated with me right now. And if he's not able to calm down after today, I'll most likely end up getting fired over what happened. You'll be the reason I get fired from my job. If that ends up happening, I'm going to hold it against you for the rest of my life. Hold it against me? I hope that you do. You holding what you did to yourself against me for the rest of your life just shows me that you still haven't learned anything. And that I'll only need to push harder to ruin your life. What do you mean I haven't learned anything? Did I really do anything wrong today, Emmy? Arthur, for frick's sake, you punched a pregnant woman in the gut today. Not only did you commit a crime by assaulting me, but you also committed another crime by assaulting my baby. Did you know that? And I told you that I thought I was just punching your fat. God, Emmy and I did all of that on a whim. So it's not like it meant anything. The fact that you think assaulting someone on a whim is totally acceptable deserves you a comfy seat at the mental hospital. Are you trying to tell me this is normal behavior from you or something? Or perhaps this is just what you do to your ex-girlfriends? You and I have been apart for three years now and I have completely forgotten about you up until today. But it seems like you've had me in your mind this whole time. Maybe you've been thinking about me all along because you've been wanting to assault me? It doesn't matter. I'm going to head to the police and tell them that I want to take your butt to court over this. What? Take me to court? Why would you do that? Oh, for God's sake, Arthur. I can't believe they let you out of preschool. You punched me in the baby today. Assaulted us? Do you think something like this is acceptable? How much of a freaking idiot are you? Do you really not have any more feelings left for me? You would never take someone you still have feelings for to court over something like this. This is hopeless. You don't seem to even be able to understand the most simple of English. What language do you actually speak, Arthur? Perhaps you can understand this. I hate you. And not only do I hate you, but now I see you as a criminal. What the hell? Why are you saying all of that about me? Are you trying to say that I actually did anything wrong to you? Dang it! I guess there really is no hope with you, is there? You punched me, Arthur. In the gut! In today's world, punching someone equals going to jail. And I said I was sorry about that. No, you have not. That was your first time saying sorry right there. Jesus! Well, I've apologized now, so we can be done with all of this now, right? Forgive me. It's not good for you to be angry with someone like that for so long. Be angry with someone? You think that this is just anger I have for you? Arthur, I despise you. I despise the fact that someone your age cannot see. They just did something as absurd as punching a mother and her baby. I just can't get a word through that thick concrete skull of yours, can I? I feel like an idiot for even replying to your texts anymore. Emmy, please. I actually do feel quite bad for what I did to you. I'm 35 years old this year and I'm finally starting to get recognized at work. Things have been looking really good for me so far in the company and I could just feel a promotion coming soon. And I'm wanting to get married myself now too. I can't be forced to leave the job I have right now and still expect that someone will want to marry me. Can you go and talk to your friend's husband about this and get him to change his mind about wanting to fire me? 
He's the husband of your best friend after all, and will listen to you. I love that you think I'd ever do something to help you. Why can't you do something to help me out? Your ex-boyfriend is in a slight pinch right now. And because of your violence today, you've put my pre-born baby into a bit of a pinch. And from what I can tell, you don't care about my baby or myself any. Because our health has nothing to do with you, right? Wait, I never said I don't care about how you're both doing now. But your baby came out healthy, right? To me, that sounds like everything's all right now. On your end... Nothing is all right now, Arthur. Nothing at all? Because of you, my baby was born weeks too early and will need to stay in the hospital for at least two weeks so that the doctor can help them. I wasn't even able to see my baby after giving birth because the moment it happened, the doctors had to take my baby away. What you've done is in no way okay. What? Is that what had to happen to the little guy? But it's going to turn out fine, right? So since your baby's going to be fine, do something about me and my child. Screw you, Arthur. Sure, I can go and tell my friend's husband not to fire you, but it's not going to do anything. I'm already on the phone with the police, telling them that I'd like to take actions against you for assaulting me and to have you taken in for good. You really do not need to be doing that to me. Hold on just a second, alright? If you do that, you'll really be putting me into a hard place. I'm sorry. I seriously mean that. I made some bad mistakes today, right? Don't try to fool me. I know all you're saying right now is BS. You were the one who threw me away three years ago. After telling me you were with six other women besides me, you didn't care about me at all then. And after the time had passed, and I never thought I'd have to see you again. This happens. All at my friend's wedding while I am eight months pregnant. You deserve to be put in a hard place, Arthur. Emmy, I'm sorry. Please, forgive me already. Rotten hell, you bastard child. I'm sure you'll never be hearing from me again after today. But man, did you make the wrong call thinking I was both fat and single? The only I saw out of the two of us is you. People, monsters that think it's okay to carelessly punch people like you, deserve to be seated right next to Satan. When you go to hell. You're going way too far with all this. I've learned all the wrong things I've done. Shut the hell up about learning. How can you learn anything when there's no brain in your skull? I'm going to call my husband in here right now and we are going to call the police. What? But I'm already going to be losing my job. Why do you want me to go back to the police again? Because I want you to be taken out by them like the trash you really are, Arthur. Everyone at the wedding was a witness to what you've done. So there is no running from the bell that tolls. Good luck where you're ending up next. You are finally going to be put on trial for all the sins you've committed. Screw you! After that, Arthur was confronted by his boss after showing back up to the wedding and was fired by him on the spot, adding insult to injury. Arthur knew what was coming next after that and made a dead spread out the door in an attempt to outrun the police, his heart pounding in his chest as he raced through the dark streets, his breath coming in ragged gasps. But after a cold night on the streets in hiding, he was eventually caught, his hopes of escape dashed. When taken to court, he had to deal with those who had witnessed him assault me, as well as my lawyer, who would do all the dirty work for me while I was in the hospital. In the end, he was charged with two cases of assault and sentenced to five years in prison. He would also be asked to pay me a very handsome settlement, while also having to pay for my baby's hospital charges, the financial burden compounding his already overwhelming guilt. Weeks later, after returning back home with my baby and husband, I was greeted by both of Arthur's parents, asking me to drop the charges and let them pay me his settlement. But that wasn't going to fly with us. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Arthur while he serves his time in prison, but I'm hoping that whatever happens, he learns just how terrible his sins were. But of course, it's a bit too late now for him to learn about them as he's already on a steep slope into hell. <laughs>